Coming up, the time has finally come to untie the dock lines. Dennis and I head down the California coast in my most ambitious journey yet. In the weeks leading up to departure, it was a mad scramble to get all the last minute things in place. Getting the new chain plates installed, and the mast back in, moving out, moving aboard. I got little sleep the last week. Thank you. I have little video footage from this time because I was both so busy and so exhausted. But on November 20th, 2021, following the culmination of five years of planning and work, Dennis and I finally head out of San Rafael. First stop, Horseshoe Bay, situated at the north end of the Golden Gate Bridge. Dennis is a pumping fool. Look at him go. Dennis inflates the dinghy. There was no time to test the dinghy or outboard motor before departing, so we're going to attempt our first ever shore excursion. Bar fail. <laughs> we came all the way, <laughs> finally. And private party. I'd heard stories about the bar here at Horseshoe Bay and was excited to check it out. Well, as luck would have it, the one time I'm able to go, the bar was reserved for a private event. There's Dennis. Yeah. Steering the dinghy. The Tesla of the sea. Got our electric outboard. All we need now is autopilot. <laughs> and here we are. Look at those beautiful chain plates. The next morning, we pass under the Golden Gate Bridge, a moment filled with mixed feelings. Goodbye, Golden Gate. See you again someday. Although my home for over 20 years, I was ready for a change and excited to move on to new adventures. On the other hand, I have no idea when or if I'll be seeing this bridge again. Next stop was Pillar Point Harbor in Half Moon Bay, where we discovered the scourge that is kelp flies. There were thousands of these things, and a hundred or so came aboard and refused to leave. I'd anchored here before, but from here on out, it's uncharted territory for me. Pressing on, we continue to Santa Cruz. Dennis had limited time off from work, which unfortunately meant a fervent pace with little time for exploring ashore. Because it was such a short trip, leaving us with some extra time in the afternoon, we did go ashore in Monterey though, where we enjoyed a sit-down dinner. At Port San Luis, near San Luis Obispo, we spent a night and experienced the worst fuel dock ever. This fuel dock is intended for very large vessels, like tugboats. There's no protection from the surge, and getting tied up was a nail-biting experience I hope to never repeat. Almost got the steering vane crushed on one of the pilings. Heed my warning, never go to this fuel dock. However, Dennis was able to score some water and beer, which almost made it worth it. Alright, <laughs> yeah. right, well there's your adventure for the day. Yeah. Is that what you signed up for when you said you wanted to have fun? Yeah. Let's get out of here, I'm kind of tired yeah. of this place. Yeah. Let's get out. We did a lot of motoring this trip. There was very little wind the entire way.
Dennis and I were originally hoping that we would go together from San Francisco Bay to Cabo San Lucas, Mexico during his time off work. This meant, though, an absolutely brutal pace with little rest except for one night at anchor between stops. At Catalina Island, we decided we'd slow down to do more exploring and better enjoy the trip, even if it meant Dennis would not make it all the way to Cabo San Lucas. You made it. We're going to do a, a video beer cheers. Welcome to Santa Catalina Island, wow. California. We made it after three days at a rolly, foggy sea where we motored the entire friggin' time. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Yeah, and thanks to engine, to the engine, right? So yeah, engine's, a great job. Engine's going to need some uh, tender loving care after this. Although I was dubious, Dennis was insistent we harvest some cactus to cook with. Yeah, those those things hurt. <laughs> if you get one. I've never had a physical encounter with a cactus that ended well, so I stayed out of it and let Dennis have all of the fun for himself. <gasps> I got one. I don't know if that's a good idea. You might get one in your tongue. Oh. Don't get yeah, one of those. Yeah, it's everywhere on. now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that was a bad idea. Let's, let's get out of here. Yeah. All right, we have to get those spikes off before we go in the dinghy. The only other problem was that we weren't entirely sure whether this particular cactus was poisonous or edible. This is uh, Dennis's foraged cactus. <laughs> which came at great pain and expense. <laughs> <laughs> I have never cooked cactus before, but Dennis found a nice recipe video online. We'll see if we survive the experience. <laughs> yeah, that's the Darwin experiment. Yeah. Darwin. Sounds a bit crunchy. Good source of diet fiber, I guess. Yeah. I'm gonna have really healthy poop. <laughs> okay, can we look at it? Uh huh, yeah, so water. Do you wanna try a raw piece? No. Do you? Okay. I already tried it yesterday. Yeah, how was that? I survived. You survived? I brought nothing actually. Okay, can I have one? You gonna have one? Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, it's a bit slimy. <laughs> slimy, okay. That sounds delicious. Well, like uh, Mexican uh, cucumber.
I thought those were hairs, but there's like strings of goo. Look yeah. at that, you see that? <laughs> yeah, it's slimy. Okay, and we won't be far offshore, or far offshore, so in case you need some medical attention. <laughs> uh, we'll put it in, uh, in a tortilla. Fry the tortilla uh, and then pour a little bit of uh, salsa over the top. Oh yeah, sounds good. good. Nice, and got it. Okay. All right. It looks good. Looks. But will it kill good. us? <laughs> That's the question. We're about to find out. The right of the first bite is all yours. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that. How to identify poisonous <laughs> cactus. So it's okay. Okay, let's do it. Just, oh, you already did. <laughs> yeah. How to identify the poison of carcass. If you died within 44, 24 hours, it was poisonous. Bye bye, Catalina Island. Thanks for the memories and the cactus spikes. A couple days later, having survived consuming the cactus, which apparently is edible, if a bit slimy, we were back on the sea, pushing ever further south. Finally, after how many days we're oh, sailing, four, we are sailing. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> We met up with my friend Iris, who graciously drove us around town, taking us to get some boat gear and to see neighborhoods with elaborate Christmas decorations. Iris is also a vegan sailor, and she took us to some amazing establishments in San Diego. Mm, it smells good. It already smells like curry. <laughs> As you can see, this is vegan. Curry, vegan. They have kale chips too. We have all and this is all raw vegan. Dennis was such a sport, enthusiastically trying all the vegan things. And then those are the, the cheesecake pies, but this is where the slides, so you can choose by the slides. Oh my god, the strawberry bar bar round is my favorite and you never have it. We even got adult slushies. Oh, oh it's shit. deadly. And you know what ube is, right? If I'm only guessing right, isn't that the purple potato? The ube in Thailand, Vietnam, Vietnam probably. Oh, is, is that okay? Yeah, and also the veggie cowboy. The cowboy, sorry. Okay. I told you, there's a lot of, every, every restaurant now has so many vegan options. Yeah. She took us for dinner at a quirky place called Kindred, which had quite a few unique and tasty dishes on the menu. Mm. Mm. 
Dennis has decided to depart from San Diego rather than continue into Mexico. His time was nearly up, and getting home from San Diego would be much simpler for him than from Ensenada, Mexico, which has no airport. Hey. This is yeah. it, man. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Have a safe journey home. Yeah, you too. Have well, a great trip. No, thank you for being my uh, my very first crew. Yeah, thank you. That's an yeah. honor. <laughs> See you, Dennis. Thank you. Dennis has left, and so now I need to figure out what I'm going to do. San Diego hasn't uh, been very inviting. All of the anchorages have time limits and or require permits. All of the uh, mooring balls are privately owned. The marinas are full. I'm currently in Mariner's Basin. My time is up tomorrow at 9 a.m. So I'm now weighing the possibility of single-handing from here to Ensenada. I didn't really want a single hand, wasn't really ready for it, uh, but I don't really have a choice. Just really tired. It always seems like there's one thing after another. Be sure to subscribe to keep up with new videos as they come out. There's some exciting things coming up you won't want to miss. Follow me on Instagram at svsparklemuffin to get more real-time updates. That's all for now. See you next time.